Hello, I am Bilal Ahmed Wani. Today's lesson is on Let's Learn Tenses in Part 4. We will discuss future tense. Future tense is represented by shall and will. Both are model auxiliaries. Shall is used with I and we, first person. Will is used with you, she, and they. That means second person and third person. We know that after model auxiliary, it is mandatory to use infinitive form of a. Here, I have written two sentences. Let us look at them. First sentence is, I shall eat. Here the model auxiliary is shall. And after shall, we have used eat. That is the infinitive form of verb. It simply signifies that the action is, that the action will be done in future. So, it is future simple tense. Future simple tense. Similarly, in set, sentence second, she will eat it also. After will, we have used simply infinitive form of verb. It simply indicates that the action will be done in future. So it is also future simple tense. Let us move to future continuous tense. Future continuous tense. Future continuous tense, continuous tense, continuous tense we represent by in form of a and it is supports R, it is dependent form and it is supports R and is R. Pause and what we cannot write since the tense is future. We have to omit all the supports which are in past. And future we represent by shall or will. Let us frame a sentence in this tense. She will, but after will, we have to mandatorily use. The infinitive form of verb, we cannot use am, is, and or. Their infinitive form is be. So we can write she will be writing. Writing is in form of verb, so it is continuous tense. Continuous tense. And shall is future represents future, so it is future continuous tense. Let us proceed to one more tense that is future perfect tense. Future perfect tense. Future perfect tense. Perfect tense is represented by past participle form of verb. Eat. It is dependent form. It needs support. The supports are has and have, but not had here since the tense is future. And future we represent by shall or will. Let us frame a sentence in this tense. He will. He will. After will, it is model auxiliary, we have to mandatorily use the infinitive form of verb. Has is not infinitive form of verb because it is singular, but has it have is has is singular, have is plural, so infinitive form is have. So we have to use have. He will have eaten. He will have he will have eaten. Here, eaten is past participle form of verb, so it is perfect tense. Perfect tense and will indicate as future, so it is future perfect tense. Let us move 
to the last but not least tense that is future perfect continuous tense future perfect continuous tense future perfect continuous tense continuous tense may be present by in form of verb that is eating it is dependent form it needs support am is and of but not was and verb perfect part we represent by the support only that is have here infinitive form has is not infinitive form and future by shall or will let us frame a sentence in this tense they will have their basic form is be they will have after have we have to mandatorily use the past participle form of verb so past participle form of be is be we have been eating eating is in form so it is continuous tense continuous tense have perfect it represents perfect part of tense and will future it represents future so it is future perfect continuous tense let us do a quick recap what we have learned we started with verbs verbs are action verbs and each verb has five forms present form past form past participle form present participle form third person singular form Participle forms, past participle form, present participle form, these are dependent forms, while the rest are independent. Present and past, they represent time. Present participle form, it represents continuity of an action. I am writing, I am eating. Past participle form, it represents degree of completion of an action i have eaten i have done it that means degree of completion of an action that means both these dependent forms they represent aspect part of verb so a verb has got two parts one is time and second is aspect to define the time part of the verb tenses are of three types Present tense, past tense, future tense, and to define the aspect part of the tense, is tense has four forms simple are indefinite, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous. To learn tenses, one should master forms of verb, uh, dependent forms, independent forms, auxiliary verbs, modal auxiliaries are models. Thank, that is it for today. Thank you.